Today, we're getting to grips with your guts. Son, what's going on? It's snack time. Snack time's cancelled, Chris. Because I've laid a set of pig guts end to end all over the bench. I can see that, Zahn. The smell is terrible. But it does look amazing. Why have you done it? I just wanted to see how long it all is, really. Your intestines are eight to nine metres long, but until you lay it out like this, it's hard to imagine. It's amazing how it can all fit in your body without getting tangled. But, Zond, if only we had another set of guts that you hadn't laid out, we could see that special part of your body that stops that tangling happening. Well, it's funny you should mention that, Chris, because I've always said that there's only one thing better than a set of pig guts, and that's two sets of guts. I don't think you've ever said that before in your life. But it does look like this one does seem to have the mesentery. Yes, the mesentery, the amazing bit of your body which stops your guts getting tangled and gives them blood and nutrients. And you can see it here. This white bit is the mesentery and there are blood vessels running through it. And you can see it holds all the guts together. Without the mesentery, your gut would have to be in a straight line from your mouth to your bum and you'd be as tall as two double-decker buses. That would be tall. Your guts are split into two sections, the large intestine and the small intestine, which isn't that small at all. This is the small intestine, and it runs all the way from here, around here, right down to there, and this is where the action takes place. And inside, it's covered in tiny finger-like projections called villi, and you can only see them under a microscope. Villi have an important job to do. As the food moves along and touches them, the villi absorb every tiny little bit of nutrient, including fat, sugars and proteins, into the wall of your intestines, passing it out into your blood for your body to use. But there's one thing about intestines we haven't discussed, Chris, and that's... Oh, Sot! What have you been eating? Well, Filing is completely natural. It's just your body's way of getting rid of unwanted built-up gas. And everyone does it about 14 times a day. Doesn't matter if we're talking about your head teacher or the queen herself. We all do it. And it's honestly not your fault. He is actually right there. Inside your large intestines, there are millions of good bacteria that are there to help break down food. And as they eat, they produce a mixture of gases, which is what makes you let rip. This combination of gases is made up mainly of air, carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulphide and methane. And the methane contains a lot of energy, as we're about to show you. And for this, I'm going to need a special piece of equipment. Chris's hand. Now, this is a cylinder of methane, and I'm going to release one day's worth of farts. This experiment is highly dangerous. We're in a controlled lab using specially manufactured gas. Don't even think about trying this yourself. Get your hand wet. Now, scoop up those bubbles. That's right. Hold them well away from you. I don't like the look of this. Ah! Oh! So, that was amazing. So that's how much energy there is in a day's worth of farts. Exactly. That's one day's worth of farts. Well, you know what we have to do now? A week's worth. Precisely. One week's worth of farts. <laughs> That's really good, isn't it? So we've done a day. We've done a week. Dare we do a month? Yes, we do. Dare. Do it. Here we go. Light it. Wow! That was amazing. Wow! Oh. So, we've shown you just how incredible your intestines are and how much energy there is in your farts. Remember, when you let rip, it's an essential part of how your body gets rid of excess gas. And now you know whose fault it is that you do them in the first place, those cheeky little gut bacteria. But if they weren't in our intestines, we'd end up with undigested food sitting in there forever. So, there really is no reason to be ashamed of your... 